Hello guys, Skippy Shamino here with a new video for Call of the Wild the Angler. And I'm still in the same lake than my previous video or two previous videos uh, where I got the diamond rainbow trout. And guess what? I got the diamond tollivarden over here too. So what happened? I was throwing around to uh, have a look that I can get more diamond rainbow trout. And I had the gold one. So I thought by myself, let's try to fish here for the for the gear challenge, that will be the next video. And after some time and after some testing, uh, I got the diamond. So I think it's not that simple, because what did I saw? That they got a very tight time frame. It seems between 5am and 6am they buy it really well, and then it's suddenly done. Like, they are gone. It reminds me a little bit about the Comiso barbel in Spain. It's a little bit similar fishing. I don't like that a lot because it's taking the fun uh, away from fishing. But I'm going to show you guys how we need to do it. So first of all, what are we going to do? Because I think that fishing with the lure is a lot better for this fish. But I got them now on leeches because I need to use that for the gear challenge. So we are going to do a restart and I'm going to show you guys this. So you need to go in the morning. So I'm going to start now in the time frame that you get the diamond. So you just enter. And you will see that we are going to start at 6 a.m. That's perfect time. So for the position. So I just went a little bit around and I saw here on the edge that I had suddenly a gold dolly varden and that's something that works really good because we are going to use hot dogs like round bait and what i saw in this game is so if you got like uh, deeper points and more shallow points the edges work really well for the ground bait i think that you pull fish out of the two zones and therefore it's really good i do the same with the comiso too and that's how i already got 20 diamonds and i think that's the thing in this game uh, so uh, be sure that you stand here. It's possible that you can catch them everywhere here. I don't know. I came here, got the gold here and start to test on this position. So this is the position. So you start here, you come to this trailhead and then you come all the way to the south between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. So what do you need to do on that moment is, uh, so I fished with this setup. So I fished with the Nexus, the Lago, the Fluorocarbon. And then the four hook. The four hook is going to give silvers. If you go to a three hook, you will get gold and above. But I got the diamond with the four hook because I always try to fish uh, with the silver hook. But what you can do is like this. So how does this system work too in this game? So if you throw ground bait, and you're fishing for some time. And you think by yourself, fuck, I'm not getting the gold. After some time, you can do a trick and just go to the gold hook. A three hook. Throw a tree on it, get the leeches, and sometimes uh, you will get a gold and a diamond in an instant. Because what can happen is the next, so there can be 20 silvers and one diamond, and the silver keep binding and respawning the entire time. But the diamond does not get the chance to bite. But if you get the hook higher, you will get them. That's something that I did a lot on the grass carp in South Africa. So don't forget to do that. So... Let, for example, you got 10, 20 silvers, throw the gold diamond hook on it. In this case, it's three. Throw it on the on the point, on the on the spot. If you don't get the gold or the diamond, go back to silver and keep fishing. Until the diamond or the gold spawns in. So that's what you need to do for the chumming or the ground bait that you need to throw. It's not really ground bait, but you can throw hot dogs in the water. And I just saw that they still got this idiot system in the game that you use 10 of them. I cannot understand that. That they still use this system. So what does that mean? Every, let's say, that's 2 multiply 10. Every 20 minutes you need to go back to the shop and get hot dogs. Over and over. Cannot understand this is still in the game. I don't use that system that much. I only use real ground bait. But it's unbelievable. So you throw in and you will see I just lost 10. Uh, ground bait or 10 hot dogs uh, so yeah so and then you just throw in front of you and you will see after a couple of minutes that you got the ground bait in don't go too far uh, like 3 meter 
a little bit above 3 meter because otherwise you just reel in automatically and that's how you need to do it. I don't like this a lot because for me the Dolly Varden is a fish. You take your light gear, you spin for it and you get the diamond like this. Now I'm just fishing like pan fish. So, uh, and yeah. It works a little bit against my fishing mentality. Let's say it like this. And this is what is going to happen. So you're just going to get non-stop fish. And then it suddenly stops. And then you can try to keep fishing it. But what I saw was that it's better you, you restart your server again. And start again at 6 a.m. So you can see here is another one. So let's have a look that we can get a gold or a diamond. No, it's a silver. So I'm going to catch one or two more fish. And then you, of course, you need to have RNG with you. It's purely RNG that on that moment that the diamond spawns in. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the, the gear challenge in this video too. Yeah, I'm going to have a look. Because I don't want to make an extra video. I can just show you guys that because you will do it this way too. So for the gear challenge, let's do it like this. So, if you go to the journal, so for the Dolly Varden, you need to use a lure spinning rig for the bronze, a lure for the silver, and you need to use this for the gold. So what do you need to do is just get the spinner again. Uh, the spinner works really well. Just get this set up. So here it is again. So uh, you just go with tender food, you go with short, fluorocarbon, a spinner, everything above 4 will work, because 4 is a silver hook. Just get the bronze and the silver, then you switch to the setup that I just showed you guys, and just finish the gear challenge Dolly Varden too. So here we go again, we already need to throw some hot dogs in the water again. One more fish and then I'm going to end the video. So number 2. So let's have a look that we can get a diamond or a gold. But it can take some time, I know that. But I got the impression that the gold and the diamonds are biting really well. I already got 19 golds and 3 diamonds. Uh, so uh, here is another one. Is this? Let me have a look. No, silver one. But that was it for the video, guys. How you need to do the gear challenge for the Dolly Varden and how you need to get the diamond Dolly Varden. Thanks for watching, have fun, bye bye.